dinosaurs were not the only plus-sized reptiles to dominate the late Cretaceous period. There were also enormous, freshwater and sea-dwelling prehistoric turtles. Ancestral turtles and tortoises branched off on the mainstream of reptile evolution hundreds of millions of years ago and have persisted pretty much unchanged down to the present day. In this video, we will take a look at some of the seven largest prehistoric turtles that have ever lived and we will order them in accordance with the length of their shells. Number 7. Puentemis Puentemis is the name of an extinct genus of turtle that lived approximately 60 million years ago. It was estimated to be more than 6.5 feet long from head to tail. The prehistoric turtle stood out not only for its gigantic size, but also for its exceptionally large, round shell. The shell itself measured 5 feet long. It was discovered in Colombia's Cerecon coal mine, which is known for other treasures such as the world's largest snake, Titanoboa. Puentemis belong to a group of prehistoric turtles known as side-necked turtles. Their necks are too long to retract under the skull, so they fold to the side under the shell. Its weight was estimated to be around 450 to 900 kilograms. Number 6. Carbonemis Carbonemis, a one-ton prehistoric turtle, thrived in South America alongside Titanoboa, a 40-foot prehistoric snake. Paleontologists suggested that the two reptiles may have occasionally engaged in combat. Its comparatively big jaws suggest it had a strong bite. Carbonemis which was discovered in 2005 and revealed to the public in 2012, belonged to a group of side-necked turtles. It was most likely an omnivore, feeding on plants, mollusks, and smaller reptiles that were abundant in its neotropical, watery environment. Its shell length was approximately 5.6 feet and nearly 10 feet long from head to tail. 5. Myelania There are two species of myelania recognized from the Australian continent, and their sizes vary widely. The smaller ones had a shell length of barely 2.4 feet and weighed approximately 150 kilograms, whilst the larger ones had a carapace length of almost 6.5 feet and weighed 1300 kilograms. This slow-moving monster featured not just a massive hard shell, but also a weirdly armored head and spiky tail that appeared to have been taken from the ankylosaur dinosaurs that existed tens of millions of years ago. Myelania has been difficult to classify in turtle terms since, as far as specialists can tell, it does not retract its head within its shell or swing it back and forth. 4. Colossoshellies The Colossoshellies appears to have lived similarly to today's Galapagos tortoise, a slow, lumbering, plant-eating turtle whose adults are almost impervious to predators. As a slow-moving herbivore, it would have been a prime target for predators at the time. However, its huge shell would have provided an excellent defense against their jaws. Despite its tremendous size, the 8.8-foot-long Colossoshellis was not the largest prehistoric turtle to ever exist. It had a shell length of about 6.9 feet and may have weighed roughly 860 kilograms. Number 3. Stupendemus Stupendemus is another extinct genus of freshwater side-necked turtles and the largest freshwater turtle known to have existed. The aptly named Stupendemus had a 9-foot long shell, the weight of which allowed it to hover below the surface of rivers and feast on aquatic plants. It was not the most accomplished swimmer of the Pliocene epoch, as evidenced by its oversized anatomy indicating that the tributaries it lived in were broad, 
flat and slow, rather than fast and churning. Its weight was estimated to be at least two thousand kilograms. Number two, Protostega, with a head-to-tail length of about thirteen feet, Protostega. Is the second largest sea turtle that has ever lived. Found mostly in Canada, USA, and United Kingdom, its shell length could have been around 10 feet, and had a weight between 1,000 to 2,000 kilograms. Although Protostega is thought to have had a soft shell similar to the modern leatherback turtle, it was a strong, inexhaustible swimmer. Thanks to its lighter load and powerful flipper-like front legs, females likely migrated hundreds of miles to lay eggs on sandy beaches, just as sea turtles do today. Protostega was an opportunistic feeder, eating everything from seaweed to mollusks, and possibly drowned dinosaur corpses. And number one, Archelon, although a turtle. Archelon has become a staple species that appears in almost every book about dinosaurs and other prehistoric animals. This almost mandatory inclusion comes from the fact that Archelon is the largest turtle ever known to exist, and it lived at the end of the Cretaceous. Lived in North America 74 million years ago, its largest shells were about 13 feet long. And approaching 15 feet long, including head and tail. The body mass of Archelon was between 2,200 to 3,200 kilograms. Archelon is frequently compared to the leatherback turtle, so it is likely that it had a similar preference for cephalopods and jellyfish. Its jaws were designed to crush, implying that the turtle ate large crabs. And mollusks as well. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching. We will see you positively in the next one. Take care.